What is going on, everybody? My name is Pete, and you guys are watching Paid to Drive and Pay to Drive Vlogs. Hope you guys are doing fantastic out there. If you drive for apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, or any of the others, you, my friends, are in the right place to stay up to date with what's going on in the gig economy. So get started right now for free. Hit that red subscribe button down below. Turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever I post something new. And if you wouldn't mind, hit that like button down below just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job in fact leave a comment right now saying liked just so I know you did it and let's jump into it so this here comes from Roberto and they said this hey Pete I've been watching for a few months now love the info and the videos thank you for your help you're welcome Roberto I'm messaging you in case you haven't seen this yet the DoorDasher Direct Card now instantly deposits after each dash instantly instead of once a day after 12 a.m. My name is Rob and you can use my name, I don't care. I've looked everywhere to see where, when they changed it or why, but in my opinion, this is good news. I never wait each week to be paid so I don't have, um, missing, I don't have any missing money issues. And now I save the $1.99 they take to do it each day. I don't know if it's in some beta form or beta stage in my area or not, but hopefully you will make a video on it and see if others have it or have it also. So let me just pause for a second. If you guys have experienced this, put this in the chat or the comments down below right now. I'll give you a second to do that. On another note, the no tip and or stealing of our tip videos, you have asked if others have had the same issue and yep, we have a lot and no way I take less than $1.50 per mile. I am a top dasher, and as another has said, it's not bad, but for everyone, you know, it, it's different for everyone. Yeah, you can dash anywhere, anytime, but it's still slow a lot. I refuse to do any Walmart, Wendy's, or Outback, or Hooters, or Chipotle, or Papa John's, Panera, or any fast food because, the wait, because of the wait times in my area. Papa John's is the biggest place around me that steals tips from dashers. I've also noticed that these places are charging customers a delivery fee of $3.99 plus in my area via customer receipts they attach to the bags and boxes for us to deliver them, which is exactly by definition of stealing. If they use a third party to deliver and the fee is not for us, then how can they be allowed to, do, uh, to charge for it? I'll see if I have a recent picture uh, of one to show you from a place that doesn't deliver at all via in-house. The second picture is the receipt that clearly shows this fee. And you know, I, I, I can see it down here below. I don't wanna show the receipt on here because it has the address and all that stuff on there, but it is here on this page. Um, so let's see here. Uh, the last picture is from the one that I got after completing the order. Hopefully this helps prove that fraudulent activity from merchants taking tips. Uh, me and my fiance have also dealt with clueless customers from Papa John's that didn't know that uh, we were bringing the items. I've called corporate for them multiple times asking how with the customer agreeing to let me use their info when I report it. And as far as I've called and as far uh, end as far as I've called DoorDash support with the customer informing them to be told, we're sorry for any kind of inconvenience this may have caused you. We will escalate this up to the proper department response, you know, the canned response they give you. Keep in mind, the customer tells them the exact same thing and they act like they don't care. It's getting outrageous. Hopefully this will help others or at least bring this good and bad news to light for, other, uh, for others as alternative to their pay or whatnot. Thank you, Pete, and keep up the great work, my friend. Thank you, Roberto. I appreciate you uh, saying all that and giving us all that information. So with the Dasher direct deposit thing, again, I think that's good for some and bad for others because personally, uh, you know, I, I, I kind of want my money, you know, once a week. I don't want to have constant deposits and things like that. That's me personally, you know, uh, I, I, I like how Grubhub does it, but to each his own, of course. Um, and as far as the, the tip stealing, yeah, like you said, I've covered this several times and, and it just seems like it keeps happening and happening and happening. And again, like I've said a billion times over, DoorDash doesn't care unless it affects them personally. If it affects the driver, they don't care. All they want to know is, is the customer getting their food on time and how they want it? If the answer is yes, they don't care about anything else. That's all they care about. So unfortunately, that's the situation. 
So with that being said, put your thoughts in the chat or the comments down below. And of course, if you ever have anything you want to share with me, a comment, a question, a topic, a story, an article, whatever it is, be sure to send it to me at paid to drive stories at gmail.com. Also, for a quicker response, you guys can always reach out and message me through Patreon at patreon.com forward slash paid to drive. That link is in the description down below or in the pin top comment. And anyone who signs up as a patron as my way of saying thank you is I give you guys shout outs in all my new videos. And as you can see, there are all the names right here on your screen of our current patrons as of the current moment of this video being made. So huge shout outs to all of them if you guys want to sign up links are down below as i mentioned who's going to be the next patron maybe it will be you and of course i hope every single one of you out there is saving lots of money on your gas using the free gas app called get upside the link is in the description down below just scroll down this page and click on the link that says get the free gas app it's very simple to use It'll tell you how to install it on whatever kind of phone, tablet, or device that you have. And then from that point, all you got to do is go to your gas station, pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside Gas app, and within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. Links in the description down below. Make sure to download it today. And finally, for all your t-shirts, hoodies, and goodies, visit paidtodrivestore.com. That link is in the description, and you guessed it, the pin top comment down below. We've got lots of great new designs, colors, sizes, you name it. We probably have it on sale every day at paidtodrivestore.com. That link is in the description down below. And the pin top comment. And of course, if you made it to the end of this video, I'm extremely grateful for all of you. Let me know by leaving a comment in the chat or the comment section below saying end 100, E-N-D 100. Just lets me know you did it. Don't forget to hit that red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever I post something new. And if you wouldn't mind it, hit that like button down below. Just lets me know you enjoyed the video and it lets YouTube know that I'm doing a good job. In fact, leave a comment right now saying liked, L-I-K-E-D, just so I know you did it. And until next time, get that money, get that honey. Keep hustling and keep bustling, and we'll see you next time right here on Paid to Drive and Paid to Drive Logs. And as always, drive safe, be well, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.